Bronx, New York, Channel 12 News. I am Oscar Meyer Wiener, here with um, Dr. Judy and Officer Johnson. We are here to talk about the woman strangler. I will now hand it off to Officer Johnson, and she will explain to us what is happening in these late night attacks. Officer Johnson? Um, last night, there was a phone call made to the police and telling us that there was a weird sound coming from an apartment. And we went to see there was a woman laying dead there. From reports of what we saw, she was strangled to death. Today, we talked to a witness and she gave us a sketch of what the guy would look like. This is what the guy would look like. We were releasing this to the public so they could be aware. The man, the man is Hispanic. He's five foot seven, 180 pounds to 190 pounds. Now I'm gonna hand it off to Dr. Well, thank you, officer. So we have been um, on this case for a while now, and we've been collecting data and evidence. And so far, we just have this water bottle that was in the crime scene. It has a couple of fingerprints. So we're still trying to find out if it's the victims or the um, suspects. We also have a glass here that has lip prints, and it's obviously the suspects. So we ruled it out. And we found hair that the suspect pulled out of the, no, that the victim pulled out of the sub suspect, yes. So she pulled it out as she was getting strangled. So we found hair and we were gonna con like connect it to DNA and we're gonna find out you know who he is and put him in the data and the system and see if he has a record and then we'll find out who he is. Maybe he looks like this young man and the officer. Thank you and here's yeah, the officer. That is what we have now for Bronx, New York, Channel 12, with Dr. Judy and Officer Johnson. This is Oscar Meyer Wiener, and we are out. Who is it? Who is it? Is the problem? I have a couple questions to ask. Um, okay, so can we take a seat? Sure. Um, yeah, see, yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Hey, here's the same hair strand, officer. So, as you can see the sketch. I end up forensic. All right, let him have my nose right Mr. Don't say me. Turn around. You're going in for questioning. You don't stop playing me, bro. He has the same hair. I'm pretty sure it's I didn't do it. It's it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Don't give me my lawyer, bro. Get out. Two keys. Everything, every evidence you have, he has a plausible reason for it. 
Do we have evidence? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so we were having a small argument and she got upset and started swinging. Okay, so study has shown that when there's three stages of hair, there's the one when you pull it out, the one when it comes out. I'm sorry, Mr. Monteverdi, I don't remember. But, and there's the one that, you know, that falls out on its own. So this hair, my scientist study it, and this show, study shows that it's been pulled out. Oh, you know what, just for talking like that, you stay like, that's it, I'm like, I'm gonna speak, please. Okay, let's What happened? She was upset because I wanted to leave her because I, you know, I was tired. I, I mean, I didn't want to cheat anymore. So I didn't get rid of her by killing her. She strangled me. We was arguing before. I pulled that to get over it. So basically what happened was Killing me, my hand hurts. <laughs> you should see those yesterday.